Hello guys, in this video we'll be talking about uh, the different reactions of the citric acid cycle. Now we can see here uh, the complex process of citric acid cycle and the feeder steps are pyruvate uh, to the citric acid cycle. And before uh, the incorporation of this acetylcholine in the citric acid cycle, this acetylcholine must be produced from pyruvate. And this is a tedious job, so we need uh, plenty of different enzymes and energy sources to produce this. And right after the production of acetyl-CoA, we can run this citric acid cycle, which is the core and heart of all the metabolic steps, as you can see here. These are our eight uh, different enzymes which are involved in this citric acid cycle and properly organized step to produce the product. To enter the citric acid cycle, pyruvate is converted to acetyl-CoA by pyruvate dehydrogenase complex. This reaction requires coenzyme A and, uh, and the coenzyme NAD+. And isotopic level of C1 to acetyl-CoA here is marked with this uh, daggered sign. Uh, becomes C5 of the alpha ketoglutarate in in the uh, time course, okay, and is also scrambled in uh, reaction five between C1 and C4 of succinate. We'll be seeing this later on. Acetyl-CoA enters the citric acid cycle by reaction with the oxaloacetate to form citrate. This reaction is catalyzed by citrate synthase. Reaction one and it releases coenzyme uh, A from this uh, structure of acetyl-CoA. An isotopic level at C4 of oxaloacetate, which is marked as star, becomes the C1 of the alpha ketoglutarate in the next generation uh, and is released as the carbon dioxide in the reaction 4. So this carbon here, which is uh, involved in this place, will be released at this reaction 4. We'll be seeing it later on. In reaction 2, citrate is converted to isocitrate by the enzyme associate called uh, aconitase. In the reversion of the re reaction, we are also having the enzyme activity aconitase to produce citrate from isocitrate. Isocitrate is converted into alpha ketoglutarate by isocitrate dehydrogenase. Now the reaction 3, this reaction requires the coenzyme NAD plus and it releases the carbon dioxide. Now see in this picture, the carbon dioxide released in this case is from this point. So this is the carbon dioxide which is getting released from this position. Alpha ketoglutarate is converted to succinyl-CoA by alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase in this reaction 4 with the release of carbon dioxide. Now the carbon dioxide that is released in this alpha ketoglutarate dehydrogenase reaction is this carbon dioxide which we have marked with star. Okay, and also uh, this reaction requires NAD plus coenzyme and it can also involve the reaction coenzyme, coenzyme A. Succinyl-CoA is converted to succinate by succinyl-CoA synthetase. This is the reaction 5 with release of coenzyme A. In the same reaction, GTP is synthesized uh, from GDP and PI because the molecule succinyl-CoA is energetic. Succinate is converted to fumarate by succinate dehydrogenase. Now this is the reaction 6. In the same reaction, covalently bound coenzyme FAD is reduced to FADH2, which is reoxidized to FAD plus by the electron transport chain. Fumarate is converted to l malate by the enzyme fumarase in the reaction 4, uh, sorry reaction 7. L-malate is converted to oxaloacetate by the enzyme malate dehydrogenase. Reaction 8, this reaction also generates NADH from NAD+. And right after that, at the end of all this reaction, we have produced this, this oxaloacetate again. And the reaction is ready to run again and again. Oxaloacetate continues the citric acid cycle by recycling with acetyl-CoA to produce citrate and release coenzyme A each steps. 